pick up the action. We got a PSC Forum quarterfinals in the 52 kilogram. Philippines Rajan Landon against uh, Indonesia's Aldems Sigula. Yeah, as you can see, Ladon is trying to be aggressive here. He's keeping up with the pace of the um, Suguro. Suguro wearing the blue, while Landon from the Philippines wearing the red. South Paw versus an Orthodox fighter. The tricky part there is they can step on each other's foot. As you can see, we're witnessing a female referee. That's how diverse our Southeast Asian games have been also sports all over the world. The Indonesian fanfare, the crowd going crazy. No one's really trying to throw any jabs here. They're just really trying to throw everything they've got right away. You know, the movement here is they're literally fighting inside the phone booth. Not using the full ring. They're just right there in the middle, exchanging. I think the Indonesian heard you. They're throwing some jabs for Aldam Seguro. This is, of course, a quarterfinal. Far great head feints being shown by Ladon. Great hook there by the Indonesian. You can see the fire in Ladon's eyes. Both of both fighters really want to knock each other out. So you know now they're wearing no headgear. So you know it's been like that for a couple of years in the amateurs. They scrap the headgear and they feel that if I could get a knockout, it could favor. Great inside fighting by Seguro. Two punch combination by Seguro. Lado now clinching. 17 seconds to go in the first round. Nice multi level boxing by Lado. See, and the round number one. Bringing you to the action. This is, of course, Southeast Asian Games. Take a look at her slow mo right now. Great counter punches. Great slips, faint to the body as well. Great combinations by the Filipino. Rojan Ladens. You can see that coach. That is uh, Roland Chavez, the brother of Arlo Chavez, who was an Asian Games in a multi-decorated Sea Games medalist. Let's so go to our round number two. Pick up the action right now, ladies and gentlemen. 52 kilogram is Roger Ladon versus Aldom Suguro. Philippines versus Indonesia, two countries. So you can feel the energy of the people. The crowd is really hyped right now. So the game plan for the Philippines, according to the coach, is just keep on throwing that straight shot. Wait for that straight shot. Nice jab by Ladon. Shot was a hybrid hook. It's a fake jab to the hook. As you can see, Ladon's really trying to wait for that good timing for that counter straight. It stuffs him in, calls for a break. It apologizes to get to for a headbutt. You know, that's usually the common mistake when it comes to a southpaw and an orthodox fighter. They're prone to headbutts, tripping on the legs as well. Stepping on each other's foot also, yeah. No headbutt. Ladon gets a warning for kidney shots.
the Indonesian got his chin out. Oh, he's getting attacked with combinations. That's a trip. That is a push. Great shot by the Indonesian Seguro. Great straight shot. You know, if you were Ladon, what would be your game plan? Uh, uh, Ladon should try to keep his distance. Just wait for that right timing and not just keep his chi chin up. Like, he has to go in with a good timing. Because this Indonesian fight is really strong as well. He's hitting his shots from left and right, le left hooks, right hooks. So he has to really be careful. And you know, the Indonesian is gaining confidence already. Seguro is gaining confidence. So all Latin has to do is really just throw that uppercut. Wait for that Indonesian to come in. There, he's lunging forward, but his chin is up there. A great uppercut could connect and end this. And of course, these amateur rules is all about points. You have to hit clean, that's why. With four judges on the side. And the referee acting as another judge as well. Ten second mark right now. Already the Indonesian getting aggressive. End of round number two. What can you say about round number two? Uh, I'll give that round number two to the Indonesian fighter. Even though Ladon was trying to be aggressive there, uh, I think the cleaner shots was from the Indonesian fighter. Could be the energy of the crowd. Let's take a look at a replay right now. So you can see Ladon there try to set up a straight, but it gets hit with a hook right there. More great combinations. That's Indonesian. So you can see, if I could translate that, primero means first. So the Indonesian coach is telling him, be first, be first, and you can get this match. The other coach there is Elmer Pamisa for Team Philippines. These are uh, decorated amateur boxers. Guiding through experience once again. Round number three here, 52 kilograms. Roger Lado wearing red for the Philippines against Aldom Seguro of Indonesia. Picking up the action for you. With the PICC Forum, men's quarterfinals for the 30th Southeast Asian Games. Indonesian getting aggressive. But it is a hook that Ladon is setting up. Buckle the knee. Ladon's trying to keep his distance away. Trying to move back. Fights inside. You could keep on throwing. You could keep on throwing to the body until that referee says break. Remember, the rule is protect yourselves at all times. Seguro's looking to, he's loading up on that right hand, just waiting, just waiting. Oh, nice shot by Ladon. He got hit there in the chin. And what Seguro's doing, he takes two steps, then throws the jab. Compared to Ladon, who just fires in all angles. Ladon gets hit there with two shots. Great in and out game now being displayed by both fighters. Now, if you were the Indonesian Aldom Seguro, what would be your game plan? I'll, I'll, I'll continue waiting for Ladon to go to me. I know he's coming to me all the time. And then when he comes in, I can go with the right hook or a straight. Now the jab is working for Ladon. Sets up a whirling right hand, but misses. The crowd screaming. But remember, it's not about the crowd that carries the fight. It is actually the score. Great shot by Ladon there. 
that done senses it already. It's loading up that straight shot. Great shot again by Ladon. The electrifying noise of the crowd, ladies and gentlemen. Ladon looking to counter. Carries him out. Ladon really wants this knockout. Final five seconds in the third round. <laughs> Indonesia, Philippines, who will win this one? Let us see, you know, both fighters made adjustments. The crowd favoring both countries. Let's take a look at a replay in round number three. Great two punch there, an uppercut and the overhand right by Ladon. Two punch again combination. The third round could play a factor. Winner of points by a split decision, 4-1. In the red corner from the... There you go. Ladon Rajan. Rajan Ladon advancing by a split decision. In a hometown cheering him on at the 52 kilogram as he advances. That is Rajan Ladon of the Philippines. Once again, our judges scored him. 29-30, 29-30-29. What could you say about that? That was a good fight by Ladon. He really adjusted throughout the three rounds. Uh, he kept his distance and went for the good punches as he hit uh, the single uh, Indonesian fighter clean. You know, the coach said uh, throw straight, but then he, he kind of caught that the jab was coming in, so he worked with what he had. He had a 50-50 formula, so exciting times to watch this guy. I see you capture more boxing action. 30 at Sea Games. As you can see immediately, they went to action, ladies and gentlemen. To the delight of the Philippine crowd.